primeiro sexo, não se nem que saíram. Eu vim de boa bicha, da linda e a beleza. Tela fuck it, boys. They don't make me lose. You will make a nigga run to that push shit. Got a tool so I can tighten up that bullshit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to XKO33. Antonio Perkins joined with Scott Groff, the man with wisdom when it comes to MMA. Scott, how are you feeling this evening? Antonio, last one of the uh, 2016. I'm excited about this. This is going to be a tremendous event. We have our first 185-pound uh, championship bout between Kevin Holland and Alfredo Leja. I'm, I'm very excited about this. You know, as we begin the first bout of the night, what better way than Matt Foster, who faced Matt Jones the last time that he was here? And I just recently found this out, that Matt Foster, who's fighting tonight, only had a uh, two-week camp prepared for that fight. Now he's had eight solid weeks. He said this is probably the most he's been prepared. He's ready to go. He's for building bridges and railroads. That's amazing. Hard work stems from his ancestors. They were warriors. They fought, and they hunted with their bare hands. That's right. So he is a descendant from those gladiators that were built upon survival. Tonight, he's going to put it into the sport that has been around for how many decades and has just evolved so greatly in the cage. It's going to be a great fight, a great warrior, and from the Bahamas where you have so many fighters there, it kind of, would you say that it kind of hits home? No. Okay. <laughs> I was just feeling, I was just no, feeling that out there. No, no, no. But I, I listen. I get what you're saying. I think it's fantastic. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go straight to commentator mode here and, and analyze this. His first professional fight. We know what a stud he is. He's, he's, he's a stud fighter as, a, as an amateur and in general. Um, obviously, coming out of a, a terrific team in Octagon MMA. Right. Uh, he's gonna have Rashad, you know, Couture in his corner, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Turn it over to Travis Baxter. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest will have three five-minute rounds. It's in the 205 weight division. It's sponsored by Fit Fuel Grill. Your referee in charge of this contest is Aladdin Martinez. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the fighters fighting on the Jim Ross Law Group Blue Corner. He's trained in Muay Thai freestyle. He holds a professional fight record of nine wins and eight losses. He stands 5'11 and weighed in at 205 pounds. Representing MCA from Topeka, Kansas, Matt Freight Train Foster. And his opponent fighting out Nick's Bank Red Corner. He's trained in freestyle and tonight is making his professional debut. He stands 6'4 and weighed in at 203 pounds. Representing Fortis MMA from Nigeria. Kennedy, the Nigerian Nightmare, and Zaychiku. All right, Antonio, so Kennedy's last name is, is just, I'm, I'm just not going to mess it up. N-Z Chuku. I'm just going to call him Kennedy. Kennedy, six foot four. Matt Foster. Closer to six foot. But I, I like the fact that Matt Foster's had an opportunity uh, to, to have a full camp. 205 pounds uh, is what these guys weighed in at. I can tell you they're both weighing much more now. Look at the length of Kennedy. My God. Amazing. Doubles up on the jab. Kennedy shoots in. Foster, high guillotine, cranking the neck. You know, early on in the match, again, this is Kennedy Inzichuku's first fight, first yeah. professional fight, excuse me. Right, and and, and Foster is, is doing a really good job of keeping him from picking that ankle, get a good base, but it's a nice takedown. And that's what you gotta think about. Once you go for that takedown, you gotta be thinking three steps ahead. Okay, I have the takedown, where do I wanna go from here? Do you think about that before you go for the takedown, or is that one of those things that you kinda just figure out once you're there. Well, listen, I mean, it's, it's got to be pretty much instinctual depending on the pace. Pace isn't furious from here, but ju what you got to remember is, you know, this isn't a jujitsu game here. This isn't a wrestling match. We're talking about strikes that can be landed. And right, yeah, Josh, Josh did the right thing. Stands up, 
get his back against the cage. That's a terrific, terrific getting it back up. Really good getting back up. And, and the way Kennedy is pressing him, keeping him against the cage, going for the takedown like he did. The first thing that I, you know, I think their game plan, his camp's game plan, they don't want to get hit. Kennedy, you know, they don't want to get the uh, Matt Foster's uh, power and, and allow Kennedy to get hit by that because Matt Foster will put you to sleep really, really fast. Goes for an inside leg trip. Great balance there by Kennedy. Nice front kick by Kennedy. Foster, big inside leg kick. Misses with the jab. Big leg kick. And that's where he's, and boy, that's where he's dangerous. And I'm telling you, Kennedy's feeling that right now. Welcome to the pros, young man. Does well, Kennedy be, need to be a little bit more aggressive? Because there was a couple of instances there where he could have followed him with a knee. Great elbow, by the way. Well, I, th elbows. I think, yeah, those are great elbows. Very, very smart using that, using those long arms, that reach. Very John Jones-like in his build. Um, here, here's the thing, though. Foster is is a, a whiz at Muay Thai. And he's obviously shown that he is, with all his experience, his ability to, to stand up and get up off of the off of the ground and and, and 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 so to me i can't help but wonder you know why 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 fight him here you know go try and take him back down i would think kennedy would want to now he's he's, he's had some luck he showed some really good creative striking from here antonio but uh foster doing very well boy those are big elbows god those are big elbows antonio and, and I'm telling you, Foster needs to rot. Uh, big right by Foster. And he, that's odd. Oh, oh, nice uppercut. Great uppercut. There's the knee. And that's what I'm saying. Foster needs to get busy here because Foster's definitely doing work old Mike Tyson style. Very, very much. And that, but he's so good. He's so good. He's going in for that guillotine. Yeah, and he's he's a strong guy. Now, if he can't get this, I'd like to see him reverse. Uh, go ahead and reverse Kennedy. Turn him. Put him on the fence. He loses it. Foster, big knee to the midsection to Kennedy. Boy, you got to have abs because look at the legs of Foster. You get hit with those, those knees and those legs. That's going to hurt Antonio. You know, there's a double leg. And you know, Foster kind of just sat down. He knew where he was going to go. Maybe this is an advantage for Foster. Oh no, 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 no. This is listen. What he needs to do, and I don't. He needs to get his back against the cage to get back up. He's trying to roll that, and that was it. He was trying to sweep Kennedy. Now he's in a bad position and right here just be, be, because him. Kennedy. He's got no control there with Kennedy right now. His back's against the cage. He needs to get busy and stand up, and, and that needs to be his uh, his main thing. And there it is, right there. Now, wide base, try to keep from that happening. I, now, now, Kennedy keeps going to the ground here, but I, I'm not seeing too much work being done. It's almost like he's looking for an open shot. I well, mean, and he is. He's trying, down. and that's the thing. I mean, Foster's a Foster's such a good fighter, and he and he's seen so much and has been through so much. He knows to cover up. He knows how to cover up. You're gonna have. To, you're gonna earn openings to get a shot from here, because look, he he look at him cover. I, I mean, he's put on a clinic of how to cover up from these strikes. Kennedy really busy. So I know in the judges' eyes, this looks this looks really good, but I think for Foster, it's just a matter of like, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna bide my time, get back up, let this kid work a little bit. Now that was a good elbow. There he he earned that and, and that got Foster moving. Right there, he needs to stand up hard and go. cover his neck. And that's a great move by Foster, what you're watching right now, that triangle there, kind of posture. Beautiful, up. beautiful. And right here again, he's got to get a wide base. Boy, those takedowns. Ten seconds left in the round, round number one. What a way to finish the round by by uh Kennedy and Zichuku. I mean, ten seconds left and he's still putting in work. Yeah, and that and that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. You know, if we get a chance to look at a replay here, we're going to evaluate that first round, Scott. Do you think the pace, what did you think about the pace from either fight? I, listen, I think the pace, I, I, Kennedy obviously dictated the pace. I think that's the pace he wanted. He's a he's a young, strong, hungry guy. But I think that pace also uh, may have had a little bit to do with the nerves. He wanted to push it maybe a little, a little harder than he wanted to. He, he did a lot of work that's not going to count. That, just from now, maybe the judges, but it's not going to count where injuries uh, concern to Foster. Foster, so smart, so savvy, and experienced. You know, he took uh, he took some punishment, but it wasn't huge, and he gave some really good punishment. Now, going into round two, I, I want to get my shots off. I want to make Kennedy pay, 
and not get taken down. If I get taken down, I'm either I'm either reversing or I'm getting right back up. Both guys really good shape. Neither one of them breathing hard. So first round in my mind, absolutely Kennedy. Touching gloves. Round two. Two out of three rounds. Wow. Wow. And there's trying to go for a single leg takedown. Yeah, yeah big swing and a miss. Um, Kennedy in the gray trunks and Foster in the blue. Yeah, the, the, the big overhand right, the hook. You know, for a tall guy, Kennedy got under that and went for the single leg really well. And Foster right here, it's just got to be defensive. He's got to just keep from having his butt taken to the ground. So much harder than it looks, and I'm going to tell you why. Kennedy at six foot four. I don't know what his reach is off the top of my head. It's got to be 78, 79, maybe even 80 inches. His arms are so long, Antonio, and he can wrap up for that double when he's down low like that. I mean, and there, there's the ankle pick. He's really keeping Foster from from getting up. Right now, Foster is at 500 with eight and eight. Yeah, and listen, man. I mean, 16 fights, and he's never fought a you know Foster's never fought a punk. But, but he's got to get up because he's he's got to get up. Enzi Chuku's corner yelling pepper, pepper. Great opportunity. The elbows and those short distances have been working for him, and that's what he needs to go back to. Well, yeah, really smart elbows to the quads. Really beautiful elbows. Elbow after elbow after elbow. Foster not answering the call here, and he's got to do something. He's he's got to either wrap up and trap a hand and stand up. He's got to do something because right now he's losing in the judges' eyes. Glad Martinez, our referee, keeping a close eye on this, whether or not he's going to, you know. Right now, what about shifting position? Get on the uh, the side mount and just use those knees into the uh, rib cage. Well, I tell you what, he, he's riding him so well for, in this wrestling position but for, from having his back right here. I, I, he's, you know, why, why, why you, you're having luck with it. Why, why try and change your position here? You're, you're beating him quite easily uh, in, the, you know. And I just don't understand why Foster is, yeah. And I guess that's our reason Foster just took too many shots. Your winner, Kennedy NZ Chuku, with his first professional win here at the Gas Monkey Live yep. with a packed house. Yep. And XKO 33. Yeah, and you know, and it's just like I just don't think Foster had the had the gear to get up. And Kennedy made him pay for that. And you know, another thing, really great respect for, for young Kennedy here. Uh, Giving a lot of, giving immediate love, checking on his opponent, and Rashad Couture coming over to congratulate him. But, uh, you know, class act right there. I, I, I'm waiting uh, to see who will get to fight Kennedy next now that he's had his pro debut because, Antonio, I expect really big things out of this young man. You know, I like the, the analogy that you used and the, the combination uh, comparing him to uh, John Jones. Yeah. The... The method in which the pace, the elbows, the, elbows. the technique. And, his, and he's built similar. He's built similar to him. Yeah, he's a tremendous, but, tremendous talent. And, and I, I have to go back and say about the pushing the pace. When you think about it, for making your pro debut, he was so calm. You know what I mean? Yeah, he did He did very well. He picked his punches. He wasn't. Yeah, and after the first round, going into the second round, you could tell he, uh, his coach safe definitely probably calmed him down a little bit said hey this right. is your fight ladies and gentlemen your winner of the match second round two minutes six seconds by TKO Kennedy the Nigerian nightmare is it all right Kennedy come on in here brother now, it's your first professional win. Congratulations. You just made your pro debut. You are a tall man. Tell us about the fight. Going into round two, where did the confidence come from? Did you feel it in the very beginning? Did it kind of pick up a little bit more in round two? Well, I'm a soccer player, so I have to put the cardio on it. I need to put my pressure on it. And that's what I did, so I can make it easy. You know, just your face throughout both rounds was so calm. Uh, you use your elbows. Scott and I were talking about comparing you to, to, to Bones Jones, just with your technique. The quick elbows, not too much separation, keeping the pressure on. 
Is that something that you have been working on weeks leading up to this fight? Yeah, well, I do like jump balls, jump balls. I tried to emulate the style. You definitely did it. Is there anybody in Octagon? You have our light heavyweight champion, Rashad Coulter, here in your corner. Is there anybody else you can thank in your camp? Yeah, he helped me out because he's a big guy. So I wrestle with him. I wrestle with my boy Holloway right here. My jiu jitsu coach helped me a lot. Put myself in bad positions. My coach, he's always been there, man. He's like a real father to me. So he's always putting me back up and my team. Like, shout out to the in your corner, you have Safe here representing Octagon. He's been around the sport for so long. How does it feel to have that in your corner? Well, I know I had to win. Like, he's going to win my ass. So, uh, <laughs> just had to make sure I do it. It's all the stuff being technical. And, uh, well, he said he doesn't know he can beat you up, but he's definitely going to work on you on Monday when you're back to camp. You're going to go back to camp with your first professional win. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Kennedy Inzi Chukwu.